Hello, patron subscribers. The tune I'm going to talk about is it's a tune called Odd Man Out. And this is one of these tunes where it did not come out in one rush. It really started as one song, and then I got the nugget, and I knew it wasn't done. It needed something else. And I kept trying different things. I never, I just couldn't find the second answering section to the original section. So I kind of put it aside. Uh, just let it sit there for a minute. And then I came back to the piano and I started writing another song for a different inspiration. And uh, that I couldn't complete. And then at some point along the way, after that second song, I started thinking about that these two these two tunes could maybe be married together and that's really when it started to come together I had to do some jiggering of the uh, keys and modulations and cadences to make them work but I think I figured it out so the, the basic idea that I first came up with if I can remember this it started with this pedal point, and I heard it as a guitar part. One, two, three, four. So that's put me in the right framework. That was like a certain mood, a certain uh, kind of vibe that I was feeling, going for. Uh, and then it went to, that's the left hand part, or the first part. the original kind of idea and then there's a melody that seemed to fit that sus chord to resolution this kind of a thing sus chord Amen. you know it's a typical religious thing that happens uh, the sus chord so it started like that That's what I had. Didn't know where to go from there. I liked that. It had a certain pensive uh, feeling to it, which is what I was feeling and which I brought up. But I didn't know where to go, so I was stuck. That's the beginning of that tune. Well, what you might find interesting about this, what I find interesting and maybe a little surprising when I discovered this on my own, was that though that was my first idea, it did not end up being the first section of the tune. You know, there's I I found a section that answered this, and then something that answered that, and you, you know, then you get these sections that work together, and then the question is, in what order do they go? So the first section I came up with is maybe happens is the third section that you experience in the song. So you have to be ready to kind of shift the order around. At least I feel I have to be to get the right uh, the right flow going on the tune. Okay, next step in the process, get the initial song into the computer I use a program called Finale I've been using it for years, it's a very old music song songwriting program software and I put it in here you can pick various instruments, I have alto flute, bass clarinet guitar, piano, accordion and bass that's the initial group of uh, instruments I had in mind for this.
that's all I had. It's not, it was not enough. I knew it. So, but that's the next step you see. I put in the computer like that, and then I'll take you to the next step uh, on our next little segment here. All right, next step. I was uh, came. I, I stopped after doing that. I couldn't move forward, so I just put it aside, and I wrote another song several days later. Different vibe entirely. I call this one Alley Down. Some of these titles are just really just placeholders. From, this is what this one sounds like. Uh, melodica, flute, piano, flugelhorn, bass, and drums. <laughs> finished clearly uh, that's how it works sometimes you know you did you, you work on one thing it doesn't go anywhere you put it aside you work find something else do another thing and sometimes you can put things together it doesn't usually happen like that for me but this one uh, did and then this section this tune sprang uh, yet another melody which became like the the, the uh, which is like the sec second section of the tune all right and then this other section came after that. The chords were similar. I'll just do the chords. But then I put the same pedal thing on it to make it work. To the original theme slightly different and then I came up with a very spacey beginning part later on that was probably the last thing I came up with I came it up came up with it as an ending that very weird beginning section and then I plugged that into the beginning and I you know shifted sections around till I found an order that made sense and that's how that tune came to be I put out a video uh, when we first opened up our campaign about uh, the beginning of a song called uh, Better Angels. And in that video, I mentioned how I am often affected by outside things, news, events going on in society, and that will spur a song. This song, Odd Man Out, was a much more personal in nature for me. I'm in a particularly dark spot in my life. Uh, having to do with moving to a new location and uh, having to start from scratch. Realizing that in this COVID age, uh, everyone's struggling with all sorts of things. So I'm not alone with this, obviously. Uh, but this was fairly new for me to be in this particular position. And uh, so this song was spurred by a lot of that emotional turmoil going on, turmoil. I also thought when I wrote this song, there's a, a, an old dear friend of mine, Art Landy, who uh, I, I wanted him to play on this song. I just heard his melodica on part of the song, so that's what I'm hoping will happen. Uh, so that's uh, kind of the personal background of the song. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit into the, uh, the stuff that I can do with Finale in terms of uh, trying out different orchestrations, which is very cool. Uh, you can really have a piece of music and hear it as a string quartet, hear it as a sax quartet, 
you can get a sense of what it would sound like for different instrumentation sets. So I played around with that a little bit and I'll, I'll talk to you show you a little bit of that. It's all in this process of trying to find how you're going to make this thing happen and into a real-time production.